Hey YouTubers, I'm back, and here's another episode of ERW Roster. Um, this one is called Oddball Units. So these are basically oddball EMD or Alco rebuilds or even electric locomotives. Um, they're pretty much a mixed bag of everything is in this roster. Um, you have GEs, obviously. You have EMDs. You have rebuilt Alcos. Um, even even a caterpillar powered locomotive um so yeah let's get started so the locomotive here is the f24c and it's basically a f unit that rides on an sd24 chassis it's built for commuter service um, it does have head and power um, originally there was a plan to build a four unit prototype set but plans have changed and I only have the A unit built and I have the shell for the B unit um, yeah so that that unit I built uh, a couple years ago and then we're going into my switcher class my switcher slash uh, my road switcher class um, these are rebuilt RS3s and they're called uh, RS4 Max. So basically, it's just another variant of the RS3Ms. Um, they do feature EMD 567 Prime Movers, um, but they feature AC traction. So they are actually AC equipped rebuilt Alco RS3Ms, and that's why they're called RS4 Max. This unit, oh, gotta be careful with that one because the uh, shell is a little loose. This one actually, um, I bought off of eBay, uh, I think it was back in 2009, I want to say. It was a chop nose RS3. Still had its original Alco, you know, hood and everything. Um, but I rebuilt it. I redid the chop nose on it because the first owner that did it, the nose was lopsided. So I redid that. The new hood section here is from a Atherin Blue Box SW1200 hood. That's been cut and fitted. Um, so yeah, this is the first one that I made. And then I think a couple months or a couple, maybe a year after that, I made the second unit. Doing the same thing, but I left the rear radiator grills here. Uh, made custom spark arresters for it. Um, you know, obviously it still needs to be finished. See if I can get my camera to focus. But yeah, it still needs to be finished. Um, there's two so far. I might make two more, but I'm not sure yet. As of right now, there's only two on the roster. Um, this is my SW1500. Uh, uh, the chassis that it's using is actually a Concord um, SW1200 chassis. So it's the Concord Cotto chassis. Um, it's really durable. Um, if you look at the undercarriage, it's been extensively rebuilt. This chassis actually belonged to uh, my first customized diesel. Um, it was called the SW3000, so it was basically a 3,000 horsepower, um, 3, horsepower rebuilt SW1500. Um, and, you know, the shell doesn't exist anymore, so I just put the Atherin Blue Box uh, CSX shell on here. Which is actually a lot nicer too, um, so I'm cool with that. And then this is one of my other commuter locomotives. This is the Jeep 35 PH-2RM. That's a bit of a mouthful there, but that's what it's called. Um, you can just shorten it to the Jeep 35 PH-2. Um, it has an SD60 M cab, five chime air horn, and it features head and power. Um, there was originally going to be three or four units in this class, but I'm actually going to cut that down to just one based on the fact that I just don't think I need any more right now. I'm, if in the future I do build more, I build more. If not, then I'm not worried about it. The next unit here is one of two Caterpillar units from Wells Locomotive Works. This is the W440 Cat. So it's basically a 4,000 horsepower uh, Caterpillar Diesel, uh, one of two that the ERW actually built. These were built actually in the late 80s, early 90s. 
So, uh, yeah, uh, this one is definitely a kit bash in that the fact that it uses a Alco RS3 chassis, trucks, fuel tank. The cab and nose come from a Jeep 35. The center hood section is from a SD24. The dynamic brake housing here, the top fan is from, an S, uh, is from a Jeep 20. These are from a Jeep 9. And then the rear of the unit is actually uh, customized right here, which is cool. So it features headlights and Mars lights. And I got the idea from the Alaska Rara Jeep 49s when they had the uh, four headlights on the roof. I thought that was really cool, so I got the that that idea from there. And here's the exhaust stack here. That's all custom. Uh, but yeah, one of only two Caterpillar engines in this class on the ERNW roster. I still plan to build maybe... I think I have plans to build more, but I'm not sure just yet. Uh, this unit here, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this unit per se. I was thinking about classifying it as a heavily rebuilt SD24R. Um, and basically at the time it was rebuilt, it used you know, an SD35 body. But I'm not sure anymore. Um, this was going to be SD24R number 244. And it was going to be the extreme oddball unit of the SD24R class in the fact that it was rebuilt using SD35 parts. But I'm not sure on that yet. I'm still kind of up in the air about that right now. And then the next two units are my SDL38-2s. These are not to be confused with the SDL38s, which use Jeep 38s uh, riding on... SD trucks. These are actually rebuilt SD 35s. Um, so they're technically the same type of unit, but they're using the cores of SD 35s instead. Um, and they feature dynamic brakes. And my cat's being bad right now. So they actually feature dynamic brakes. And they feature the rear fans of Jeep 38s. You could actually technically think of these as a variant of the SD28 because they do actually have the same fan spacing as the SD28s. Um, but they don't produce the same horsepower. So this is a Seaboard unit. And then this is a Louisville and Nashville unit. And the uh, these are Plano hatches, by the way. These are Plano hatches. Really, this was a really fun project. Really, really, really not too bad to do, actually. Um, yeah. And then this is another engine that's from Wells Locomotive Works. This is called the ER30C. So this is basically the ER and W version of the Santa Fe SF30C. Both units actually produce 3,000 horsepower. So this is ER. This is basically ERNW's GE rebuild program for like U36Cs, C30-7s, U30Cs, U33Cs. And if you look at the rear here, that's another cue from the SF30C. Except that's a that's an angular uh, housing. Um, still not finished with that unit. Still got to get details for it. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll get that unit finished. And then here's another oddball. This is the SD60B. Now I built this unit years ago, and to be honest with you, I still don't have any idea what class this is going to be in. I still have no idea what class this unit will be in. So I'm just holding on to it, and maybe one day I'll get a light bulb and I'll figure out what class I'll put that in. I might just give it a random number. And then this is the SD40 PX-2. And this is a mixed traffic engine. So this was rebuilt in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. And it, it it's basically a A1A trucked, re heavily rebuilt SD40-2. Um, it features a prototype version of the 710 Prime Mover. And it 
does feature head and power and it it has a lot of detail parts that have been added to it it's not finished yet and it's it's extremely dusty but I will be getting that unit finished and then here's one of my oddball electrics this is the EC 44 CW so it's basically the electric version of the dash 944 CW um, yeah, it, it's, this is my attempt at making a one-of-a-kind electric. I think, in all honesty, I need to remove this pantograph here because it looks funny with a pantograph on the roof like this. So I'm probably just going to take that pantograph off and not worry about it. It does need a repaint and a new decal. Then we have the, so I had to clear some space on it. As I was saying, and this is the, X Alabama Central Jeep 35R number 401. Originally, when I made the ERW roster, I had no plans to actually have Jeep 35Rs, but I always wanted one. And my friend Radisson, when he was selling some equipment, he gave me first dibs on this unit, um, and he patched it for the ERW Railroad. And it's a great unit. The cool thing about this Jeep 35R, it's got a prime mover from an F7 engine. Um, I do have two more Jeep 35Rs that he is working on for me, but with things going on with the virus right now, building on those units has come to a halt. So I don't know when I'll get those units um, because hobby shops are closed or doing stuff online right now. So I have to wait on that. But yeah, there's probably going to be three, maybe four of these on the roster. Uh, this does have Tsunami Sound in it. And it's a great runner. You guys have probably seen this on my channel several times. One of my favorite engines that I have. And then last but not least, this is the Jeep 28M. Now, if you guys recognize this unit, that is the exact unit that you're thinking of. This was actually featured on the Diesel Detailers Forum website. And the original owner did an extensive... Um, you know, showcase of this unit, how it was basically uh, built from the ground up. So uh, it's it basically started life out as a Jeep 20, and it was rebuilt using a Spartan cab. Um, it features detailed pieces from Jeep 38s um, and so forth. Because the Burlington Northern actually built rebuilt units, and they were called Jeep 28s. I believe that that's where he got the idea from. Um, but this engine uh, became like came up for sale on eBay many years ago, and I actually won uh, this engine. I I'm this was I'm pretty sure this was my first eBay bid that I ever won on eBay. So, and I wanted the unit, and I knew about it, so I had to have it, and it's been in my collection ever since. Uh, when I got the unit, it was actually a dummy. Um, and I rebuilt it using Kato Jeep 7 trucks and an Atherin Genesis uh, motor. And I basically customized the drive shafts in here. So this engine is a smooth runner and it's a great puller. The only issue that I'm having is the fuel tank doesn't stay on um, because it doesn't have like any adhesive on there. So I need, to f I need to just modify it so I can just put a screw in there. A, like a flush mounted screw so I can keep the fuel tank on because it's a pain when I'm running this unit and it just the fuel tank drops and it starts scraping the track and I don't want that that see it just it just fell again but I think I'm thinking about building another one of these but just using a Kato unit and the cool thing is because it has an Atherin Genesis motor with the Kato trucks it runs perfectly with Atlas units and Kato units and uh, even the Atherin ready to roll units it runs great and it's got really great slow speed operation and it's DCC ready um, so yeah so these are pretty much the oddball units on the ERW roster um, and I hope you guys enjoy this video so you guys be cool and God bless peace y'all